hey INFPs, I know many of you struggle with, you know, like lingering in bed and procrastinating and not being able to get things done and, you know, like struggling to get the motivation, that base energy, that base drive to get you through every day, you know? And what can you do as an INFP then? Say you wake up and you find yourself like thinking of hitting that snooze button or just laying back in bed or doing nothing, you know? What I'd say is, you know, if you find yourself waking up, I think one of the first things you want to do is you want to ask yourself, what is my intention or what is my purpose for today? What is it I want to do for myself today? What is it I want to give myself today? What gift or what need do I have that I need to take care of today? Is there something that I want to offer myself? What kind of gift do I want to offer myself in return for getting out of the bed this morning? Think of and recognize that, you know, intention and purpose matters. And it matters especially much if you're an INFP. If you can't define for yourself for what intention you do things, you're not going to have the energy or motivation to do things. And so what you want to do as an INFP is you want to have it very clear for yourself why you do what you do. And if you're going to do something, say you're going to or want you get yourself to, or want to motivate yourself to, you know, clean your room, go to work or uh, do your homework or, you know, uh, improve yourself in some regard or fix some problem that you have in your life that you find it hard to get yourself to do. What you want to do is you want to ask yourself, what do I need to give myself in order to give myself the energy to do these things? Because, you know, these things don't happen out of nowhere. You're not magically going to get the motivation to clean your room. You're not magically going to be given the energy to uh, get up and be super productive and efficient and do a lot of things. These things happen because you give yourself permission and because you give yourself your needs and because you take care of and nurture yourself. So instead of trying to push or whip yourself out of bed, you know, you know, that can only work for a while, you know, um, negative motivation, angry self dialogue, self criticism, berating yourself, calling yourself an asshole for not getting up or like pushing yourself or thinking you're an idiot because you don't uh, finish your chores on time or because you miss a deadline, you know, those kinds of motivation only work for a little bit. They can only get you so far. So what you want to bank on is thinking about what kind of needs that you have and what kind of things you need in order to feel good about what you do. Because you need to feel like what you do matters. And who does it and who should it matter to the most? You know, while we're taught to be selfless and to only do things for other people and to only do things for the world and to never be selfish, you know, being selfish has a purpose and you can give a lot more if you take care of yourself. So think of every day you get up in the morning, think of one thing you want to give yourself. That means, for example, I want to get out of bed in the morning because I want to go out and enjoy the sunlight or I want to spend time in nature today. I'm going to clean my room after I've gone out and read a book or after I've hung out with a good friend or after I've spent some time at the beach or after I've been able to listen to music or watch a nice movie or after I've been able to treat myself to an ice cream, you know. Give and allow yourself to get your base needs met and allow yourself to believe that you matter and that your purpose and your self matters. And that means allow your own needs to be expressed and allow yourself to give yourself what you need in order to succeed. If you can give yourself what you need in order to succeed, you'll have a lot more energy to accomplish what it is that you need to do. And recognize that as an INFP, you start with introverted feeling and so you start with purpose and intention. That needs to come first and if you have purpose or intention, there is no limit to how productive you can be and how effective you can be. However, if you're only being productive to be productive and there is no general overarching purpose to your productivity, no reason, no value, no nothing that will make you feel good about what you do, well, then it's not going to get you very far. The less you lose, uh, the less aware you are of your own purpose and your own intention, the less energy you're going to be able to convert into action. And the more strongly and the more intently you feel purpose and passion and value and intention, the more aware you are of yourself, the more energy you'll have to do what you need to do. So every day at the start of your day, spend some time thinking with yourself, perhaps go outside and sit on a bench and take it easy in the air and just feel the sun and feel 
how things are. And then once you feel relaxed, you know, start asking yourself, you know, what do I want to do today? Or for what intention am I going to live today? You know, for what purpose am I going to be up today? What is it I'm going to try to achieve today? And make sure here that you don't overwhelm yourself. You're not going to do your taxes, clean your room and do all your dishes and call your parents and, you know, do your homework all in one go. You know, just decide on one thing that you're going to do. So just decide on one thing. Avoid overwhelming yourself by pushing too much on yourself. So many INFPs, they ramp up a credit debt on their inferior function. And so they feel constantly overwhelmed by this function. They constantly feel in their extrovert thinking that, oh, I should be doing extroverted thinking and I should be doing so much extroverted thinking. And because I should do so much extroverted thinking, I have no idea where to start. And so I can't get anywhere. Um, so uh, practice, you know, thinking and finding one thing to do just one small thing and it can be something really simple like you know making your bed in the morning or just uh you know like uh doing some of the dishes or like uh, uh for example uh, doing some vacuum cleaning and maybe another day you can do like uh <laughs> whip, mopping the floor you know uh, the the thing is you know just get yourself going just find some purpose and some intention to why you do things and beyond that celebrate the things that you do because you know sometimes we feel like oh no matter what we do it's never enough you know we're never allowed to feel good about what we do or how much we do like it's never enough so like yeah okay sure i vacuum but i should have mopped the floor as well and i should have done the dishes as well and yeah sure i paid my taxes but i should have also uh, made sure that i paid my bills on time you know i should have done this or more and i should have done it better you know and that kind of negative self-dialogue, once again, it only serves to puncture you. So if you never feel good about your, what you do, how are you going to expect yourself to want to do it again tomorrow? You know, How are you going to expect yourself to keep going? Negative motivation can only get you so far. So uh, constantly pressuring and criticizing yourself, that's only done for the ego. You know, like uh, I think to some extent we're self-sabotaging ourselves by making a problem too big we have we can convince ourselves not to do it by making uh, issue too difficult or by being too hard on ourselves we can only validate how weak we are and so we don't have to do anything at all so uh, many of the negative habits and the dialogue we've created we think we have in order to make ourselves feel better about what we do but actually it's the reverse it's uh, to keep ourselves from doing what we should be doing and it's meant to sabotage our own success and our own accomplishments and to sabotage our own happiness. So INFP, what, for what reason are you going to live today? You know, for what purpose are you going to achieve today or if the day is almost over? For what reason are you going to get out of the bed tomorrow? Like, why are you going to do what you do tomorrow? Like, tell me in the comments down below, for what purpose or intention are you going to do what you do tomorrow? Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.